What's going on guys, this is ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up Steam streaming on your Amazon Fire Stick. This will also work on the Amazon Fire TV, the Amazon Fire Cube, or one of the new 4K Toshiba Amazon Fire televisions. Before you even get started here, there is one important thing that you will need for this all to work properly. Fast Wi-Fi. You don't need fast internet, you just need a good Wi-Fi router with five gigahertz built in. I have tested this over 2.4, but it's not as good as 5, and they do recommend having at least AC Wi-Fi to get this to work properly. The Fire Stick happens to have AC built in, so it will pick up that 5 GHz network, and in my test, this little stick streams really, really well. The next thing you're going to need is a PC capable of running Steam. Now, it doesn't have to play GTA 5 at 4K. As long as you can play some of your favorite PC games on the computer you want to stream from, this is going to work just fine. Because all we're doing here is streaming our PC games from our main computer to the Amazon Fire Stick downstairs, in your living room, in your basement. So you don't have to lug your giant computer around when you want to play PC games. And finally, I recommend a good game controller. Now you can use the PS4 controller, you can use a GameSir G3S controller, an 8-bit-o controller, but I prefer using my Xbox One controller with Bluetooth built in. This is my go-to controller for playing PC games, and it links right up with the Amazon Fire Stick, the Amazon Fire Cube, the Amazon Fire TV, anything with Bluetooth built in, this will work with. All right, so we're almost ready to get started here. The first thing we need to do is head over to our PC. We're gonna launch Steam, make sure Steam is running. At the very top of Steam, you wanna click on Steam, scroll down to Settings. It's gonna open up a menu that looks like this. Make sure you find In-Home Streaming and enable it. It has to be enabled for this to work correctly. All right, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and move over to the Amazon Fire Stick. We're going to get the Steam Link app installed. We can do it all from the stick itself. If you want to use an OTG adapter, it's going to be a lot easier. You can download the APK on your PC, transfer it to a USB stick, plug it into the Fire Stick, and sideload it from there. If you don't happen to have an OTG cable or you don't want to buy one, that's totally fine. We can use a downloader app, go directly to Google, and download it right on the Fire Stick. Let's move over there now. All right, here we are at my Amazon Fire Stick. First thing we need to do is head up to settings at the very top. We're gonna to scroll over until we see device. From here, we're gonna to go to developer options and turn on apps from unknown sources. This will allow us to sideload apps that aren't on the Amazon Fire Store. We're gonna back up. Now it's time to sync up our controller. Like I mentioned, I'm using an Xbox One S controller with Bluetooth built in. We're gonna head right to controllers and Bluetooth devices, game controllers, add new game controller. Now I'm gonna turn my Xbox controller on and put it into pairing mode. This is gonna be different depending on what kind of controller you're using, but the Amazon Fire Stick does a good job at detecting all kinds of controllers. I'm now connected here. We can now use the controller to do the rest of the work. I'm not even going to mess with the Amazon Fire Remote anymore. All right, so we have apps from unknown sources enabled, and we also have our controller connected. Another thing to note, make sure you're connected to your 5 gigahertz network or the fastest router that you own. The next thing we need to do is download Downloader. We're going to go to Apps, Categories, and at the very bottom, you'll see Utility. We want to download an application so we can download on the Fire Stick itself. Now, Firefox and Silk Browser won't allow me to download anything, so I use this application called Downloader. Works really well on any Fire device. This also has a browser built in, so it's really easy to find the applications you want online. I'm also going to leave a link to APK Mirror down in the description. That's exactly where we're going to get the Steam Link app from. Just click OK. We're gonna move all the way over to the left-hand side. Your controller or the Amazon Fire Remote will work for this. Just click OK again. So on most web pages, you'll have this little cursor that you can use kind of like a mouse. If you're using a controller, you can use your analog stick. If you're using the Fire Remote, you're just gonna use your arrow buttons. We're gonna to go to the very top and go to google.com.
All right, so we're at Google now. I suggest saving this to your favorites. There's three little lines up at the top right. We're just gonna add current page to favorites. That way we don't have to type it back in. Go down to save. Now it'll be under your favorites in the downloader app. Highlight the Google search bar and type in APK Mirror Steam Link. And this is really a pain typing it in like this, but if you don't have an OTG adapter, this is the easiest way to do it. Right at the top here, APK Mirror, Steam Link Beta APKs. We're gonna go right here, make sure it's highlighted, press A or your select button on the Fire Remote. The Steam Link app is in beta and it's constantly updated, so we wanna make sure we're getting the newest version. We're gonna scroll all the way down here. Now, APK Mirror is usually really good about keeping up with updates and things like that. As of making this video, we're gonna download 1.1.7. We're gonna go over to the right where I have it highlighted, the little download button. Press A there or your select on your Fire Remote. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna scroll down until we see Download APK. Now, if you look, it's not highlighting Download APK. Make sure Verified Safe to Install is highlighted. Press down once and you'll be on Download APK. Press your A or select button. It's gonna bring us to one more page and we can download it. Last time, we're gonna scroll down on this page because we're on an Amazon Fire Stick here. It's a little bit different. Your download will start immediately. If not, please click here. Go ahead and click here. It's gonna download it for us. It's automatically gonna bring us to the install page. So don't be alarmed. As soon as it's finished, boom, it's gonna pop it up. Scroll down to the very bottom, install, click on it, let it install. When it's finished installing, I'm just gonna click done. We're gonna back out of the downloader. We're gonna to go to view apps and channels, scroll all the way over till we see see all and find the Steam Link app we just installed. When we click on it here, if we back out, it's gonna be on our main menu and we no longer have to go into the see all section to find it. Welcome to Steam Link, click get started. It's gonna scan for computers on your network. Now I'm gonna choose one of these. I have two computers in here with Steam on. I'm not sure which one is correct, but it's gonna pop a code up right here. You need to go to the computer you chose and put this code in. It will pop right up in the middle of your screen. As long as Steam is running, you're gonna put this code in and it will connect to that PC. After you've input your code, it's gonna test your network now this is really hit or miss here. Like I mentioned several times, a five gigahertz network is pretty much mandatory to get smooth gameplay. Network test is complete. Your network looks like it will work with Steam very well. There's a few settings in here. I'm connected to my PC now. Streaming. Now if you only have a 2.4 gigahertz network, you can try fast. It's not gonna look as good but it should work pretty decently as long as you don't have any dead spots. If you have a really good Wi-Fi router, beautiful might work. I'm not sure how well it's gonna work on the Fire Stick, but you can give it a try. We also have controller settings. From here, you can reconfigure your controller if you need to. We're gonna back up, and I'm gonna start Steam here. Start playing. Give us a little bit of a tutorial. I'm gonna click Don't Show This Again. It's going to bring me right into my PC. I am now streaming Steam to my Fire Stick from my PC in another room. I'm just going to go with something simple here. We'll do Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Now all of these games are going to stream to the Fire Stick really well. I just wanted to test this because it's easy to get into. It's going to go ahead and launch the game in full screen. And we're now playing Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite on our Amazon Fire Stick streaming from our PC. Now, if you've ever played this, you know loading is horrendous. So I'm gonna fast forward through here a little bit until we get into some gameplay. So the Steam Link app, in my opinion, is the best streaming app for Steam. There's also Moonlight and a few others out there. In my opinion, this has the lowest latency out of all of them. Now, I don't notice any controller lag from my PC to the Amazon Fire Stick. 
but it really depends on your network connection, the controller you're using, and the game you're playing. But the Steam Link app does a great job of compensating for any kind of input lag. In order to exit a game, you're gonna do it just like you're quitting a game on your main PC. I'm just gonna to go to main menu and quit game. You can also press your home button, but the problem is that game will be left running on your main PC. I always recommend just quitting it from the menus inside of the game itself. And to completely quit properly, we're gonna go up to the power button, stop streaming. That's gonna stop the stream on your PC and your fire device. So that's pretty much it, guys. You now have Steam games streaming to your Amazon Fire Stick. Like I said, it works with the Fire TV, the Fire Cube, or any kind of Amazon Fire device. If you're more into playing retro games natively, I just did a tutorial on how to install and set up RetroArch on the Amazon Fire Stick. If you haven't checked that video out, links in the description and on screen now. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, Thanks for watching.